Hi, did you know one of the coolest ways to showcase buildings in motion graphic clips is by using an animation like this? If you want to learn how to create animations like this, stay with me until the end of the video since in this tutorial I'll cover two different methods for animating these buildings. The first method is perfect for the simple and minimal designs you see on the screen where the animation will be achieved by animating the shape paths. And the second method applies to buildings with some depth, unlike the flat and simple ones from the first example. Although these layers are also shapes, animating them using shape paths isn't ideal, as it would make the process much more complex. Before we dive into the video, make sure to like and subscribe so YouTube can recommend more content like this. And if you're interested in motion graphics and after effects and want to learn basically and step by step to becoming a pro motion designer, don't forget to check out my Motion Hero Master Class. Okay, without further ado, let's get right into the video. To animate such buildings, as you can see the layers are shapes. And it's also good to note that all the paths are Bezier paths, meaning that I can create keyframes for the paths. Let me be clear, when I create a rounded rectangle and I open its contents, as you can see I can create keyframes for its path. In order to do this for paths, I have to convert it to a Bezier path so I can animate its path. To animate the scene, first I select these two shapes and right here I type path, so I can see all the path properties. I create a keyframe for all the paths. I hit U so I can see all the keyframes. Then I select all the keyframes and move them to the second one because I want the second state of the building to be this one. I go to the beginning of the timeline and make the first state. At the start of the animation, the frontal view should be flat. So I select the layer, pick up the pen tool, and select one point, and then by holding Alt and dragging, I select all the other points. I hit Ctrl T, then hold Ctrl and drag this a little bit, so it will look flat. After doing that, let's work on animating this part. This portion would be hidden completely, so I select all the points, then I hit Ctrl T. At first, by holding shift and dragging, I move it over here. And then I hide it like that. So it will look like this. I make the keyframes easy easy. After doing that, to make the building show up from below, I add a null object to the scene. And I place it here. I parent these two layers to the null and animate its position. I create a keyframe here and another one at the end. And in the beginning, I move it below like that. Then I make these two keyframes easy ease. This three layer should be in front of it. To make the animation better, I slow down these final keyframes. I set its influence to 80. I also expand the duration of the animation. Looks much better. For the animation of this one, we basically do the same thing, however, this section might get slightly complicated. Let me solo the layers so I can see them better. I select these two layers. I make a marker right here. I select the two layers and search the path properties. I create keyframes for all the paths, then I hit U. At the beginning, I select all the points of this layer and I stretch it like this so the side view would be flat. This one should be placed right here, as well as this one. This one should be right here. And so should this one. I select all these points. I hold Alt and Shift and select this one point too, so all the points would be selected. Then I hit Ctrl T and move it right here. I hold Shift so it wouldn't move up and down. 
I move it down a little bit and then I hide it like this. But be careful this lower point should be up right here as well as this one. Let's check it out. I do the same for this one. I parent it to a null and motion it from bottom to top. As you can see the buildings seem to move in 3D. Now let's work on the other example. As you can see the layers are shapes, but because the building has a depth look, I can't make the same animation I did beforehand. That's why I'll be using another method. First, I select this layer and put it in new comp. As well as this layer. I open its comp. Using this tool, I select the area which I want to crop. And I crop it using this option. I do the same for its side section. I head over to the main comp, select the layers, and move them to their original position. To make the turn in effect, I place the anchor point of this layer here, as well as this one. I open the scale and create a keyframe here. I move on to the second tool and create another keyframe. In the beginning, I increase the X scale of this layer and set it to 140. And I set the X scale of the other one to zero so that we have such an animation. The next thing to do is fix the perspective issue and make it flat. For that, I select the front layer and apply the corner pin effect to it. I create a keyframe for its upper right. I hit U. I create another keyframe at the beginning. At first, it should look like this. Let me place a ruler right here. It should look like this at first, then it should be the other way. I have to reverse these two keyframes, so it will look like this. I should do the same for this part. I apply the effect to it. I create keyframe for the upper left here, as well as here. At first, it should look like this. I make the keyframes easy ease. After doing that, I parent these two layers to a null object and I make the moving up animation for the building. At first, it's down. And in the end, it comes up. Also good to note that when the building turns right, if the middle line is here at first, at the end it goes a little bit to the left, so I move the null a little bit to the left. If I want to be precise, the building is here, and when it rotates, it should almost be there. I make the keyframes easy ease and I set the influence of the second keyframes to 80. Just to make it a little bit better, I move the scale keyframes forward a little bit so the 3D rotation would be seen more clearly. You can apply this technique to even more complex buildings and achieve impressive results. Thanks for watching and good luck.